the president spoiling for a fight with the big banks, calling for new laws to pare down the size of the banks and prevent the kind of risky behavior that nearly toppled the economy. Wall Street was not happy. The Dow Jones Industrials down more than 200 points. And our Jake Tapper is at the White House to tell us what this means for the banks and their clients. Jake? Good evening, Diane. Well, while the White House uh, argues that today's announcement has nothing to do with that special election up in Massachusetts and voter anger there, they do acknowledge that these new rules could appeal to some of those voters. And at times today, the president himself sounded quite angry. If these folks want a fight, it's a fight I'm ready to have. In an atmosphere of growing anger at bailed out banks and billions in bonus payments, the president sounded quite populist. Never again will the American taxpayer be held hostage by a bank that is too big to fail. The president's new rules would impose limits on how big a financial institution can grow and, most controversially, keep commercial banks from running high-risk hedge and private equity funds. The collapse of those funds partly led to the financial meltdown and the big bailouts. We cannot accept a system in which shareholders make money on these operations if the bank wins, but taxpayers foot the bill if the bank loses. The pushback from the financial sector today was swift and immediate. Risk in and of itself isn't a bad thing. Uh, excessive risk is, and our firms have undertaken already measures to scale back and really harness excessive risk. Critics of the proposal argue that this move would cut into bank profits, which might lead them to pass costs on to consumers. And it might make them even less likely to increase lending which might explain why so many bank stocks plummeted today. The Dow dropped 200 points after the announcement led by bank stocks. What the market does in reaction one day or the next uh, is, uh, is not for me to comment on. What the president is focused on as part of financial reform uh, is a set and a series of rules of the road going forward that provide the stability in our financial system that we lacked only a few years ago. And Diane, sources close to Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner tell ABC News that Mr. Geithner has some reservations, some concerned about these new rules. He says he's concerned about how they'll affect the competitiveness of U.S. banks compared to their international rivals.